It's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 22 of Star Twinkle Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started. And three, two, oh my god, three, two, one, go. Stupid mouse. Don't be a dick. Oh. Aww. Even though this was yesterday. Because this came out like early, I think like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning last night for me. It's just her dad. I can't dead ass see the resemblance. Uh <laughs> No. It's still weird that they're not adding her in this, but it's okay. Because I think they're going to wait until, like, what, 25 to add her in the opening? As a character. I hate that noise. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Mm hmm. The fact that Madoka is fangirling right now, like, it's everything. I needed this. Oh my god. Mm. Of course, it's going to be a little hard on you. I know. Hmm? What's up, Yeti? Yes, overseas. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but you just he decided he wanted to go overseas and travel. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -hmm. You still live out your dream too. Huh? Shouldn't you be asleep? The fact that her ch the child is telling the dad to go live his dream. Oh my god.
Of course. There's always one. Mm hmm But he's living the stream though. Seriously? Oh, oh Lord. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that is true. By the end of this episode, I still think he's possibly going to change and support his son on his streams. It's just, I think, because of the fact is he is very, his father seems very traditional as the father would stay at home and work at times. He was the breadwinner of the house and the mother was the one who would stay home, possibly. I don't know. But it's different for, you know, elders. Even today, it's like that. Because there are some people who don't even believe um, women should work, even in, in this day and age, that they should just stay home, cook, have babies. No. Of course. Chilling! I mean, Yumi's still that type who likes to be alone, and that's totally okay. She's a cat. She knows how to defend and take care of herself, unlike dogs. Dogs need nurturing and attention, and that is fine. You know, it's cute. Maybe next season I'm pretty sure we'll have a dog pretty sure. That would be fucking hilarious.
Oh, I look so much better! No. Mm -hmm. Dude, he's just going all haywire. Mm -hmm. And it means that he also wants to like pursue her own dreams as well. See, and I'm also figuring that they're going to get another one eventually, but not now. Probably, like, before episode 30. Maybe. See, she's just OP to me. I'm sorry. All the new carries that come in, no matter what season it is, are usually the OP ones until the older ones get a freaking new one or whatever and they're OP as hell. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course. Huh? Oh, Yeti! This is your time to talk to him. Tell him how you feel. Don't be like that. Of course it is. <laughs> oh. 
the little tiny thing. He's not ready yet to say it. Yeah, that's a good thing. That means he's wanting to change. I mean, it's nice. It was a very interesting episode to really focus on both her father and her grandfather as well and their relationship because it is, you know, especially when you're older and you have a child and you want your child to have the best thing that they can. And because of the fact that sometimes they follow different dreams or something that you don't want to do, you ultimately, yes, do blame yourself. And that's what he really felt in this episode, which really kind of hurt me. Um, it just reminds me of situations that I've met with other friends that I know with their family and their situation on it. But I'm glad that he was supportive in the end. Technically, he's just slowly getting into the vibe of being supportive of his son and being like, okay, yeah, like go ahead and do whatever you want to do. But I still think, in my opinion, because possibly the way he was raised as a kid was the husband is the breadwinner and the wife stays home. In today's standards, it's still kind of like that, but then mostly sometimes it's like both the male and the female go out and work, and they're both the breadwinners, and they both come home and cook. Because it to me, it's not right where if one of you cooks and the other one just works and pays the bills, it should be 50-50 because that's what a relationship is. You're taking both of yourselves, half of yourselves, and coming together as one instead of being like, oh, okay. I do this, and you do whatever. You only do, you don't cook. You don't do this. It's also weird that you need, oh my god. <laughs> I got nothing else to say about that. Um, But it is weird that Uni is still kind of separating herself from the group, and that's fine, because like I said, she is a cat. And that's what cats do. They normally will not always want to be together with a group. They want to just be independent and on their own. But she will be coming in at times. It is a little interesting for her to just come in and then be there for a second, do her ish, and then get the F out. But she is observing. And that's what I really like about her. She's trying to, in a way, become a better person. And slowly but surely, she is. This is like... I don't know. Something's going to happen. And she's eventually going to want to hang out more with the rest of the girls. But until we get there, as of right now, she is going to be on her own. No matter what. And I know someone's going to be like, but it's not fair. But that's how cats are. Cats are always on their own. They don't really want to be sometimes associated or bothered with people and such. And they're easier to take care of themselves. But still, you also taking care of them. Unlike a dog, a dog needs a lot more attention and you have to take it out at certain times and always feed it and stuff. Cats can feed themselves. Same thing with dogs, but you still got to be on that control to give them food and everything. But yeah, I think it's really interesting that, you know, she's very different from most other, usually the last carrots. Because with the last carrots there, you're trying to see what the last may be too maybe even one carry kind of brings to the group. And even though she's still a little um, skeptical, separating, she's going to come together with these girls. Don't know when, but it's going to happen. I feel like maybe before episode 30 it'll happen, but she'll still be the one who'll be like, I still want to do things on my own. I still want to come in when I want to. I'm still going to help you guys, but it's just, when I think I'm ready to hang out with you and have more time and spend more time with you guys and going maybe to the mall. Do they even have a mall in this I don't think so. I mean, they got the freaking, that court, that kind of, like an outlet mall, which uh, what it looks like in a way. Um, I can't see her going to school. 
That was the biggest thing, because with her, she has her cat ears and her cat tail. So, of course, she's going to be like Ichigo um, and stick her little butt out. So, of course, that's really a no for her. But I can just see her, if the girls are at school, she's slowly, like, observing from afar, like, on a tree. Because no matter where she's going to go, she's going to possibly be in a freaking tree observing from afar. But, yeah, it's going to take time. Probably a couple of episodes, three, four, maybe even five, I don't know, until she slowly nurtures herself into the group. Because with the fact is, you know, you got four girls who have not really been together since episode one, but they've been, been together since like, what, episode four or five? Um, they all know each other, their ins, their outs, their weaknesses, their um, strengths. And having a new girl come in, I think it's a little harder for her to try to be wanting to be accepting. So, it'll take a little bit, a little while. It's fine. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review to this episode 22 of Star Twinkle Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys possibly even, honestly, I can't even tell you. Um, because... I thought with what happened last week, the episode 21 was going to happen this same week, how I wasn't going to get the episode until at least maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday. But because this episode came out early this morning, around like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, when I was up before I went to sleep, I can't even tell you if episode whatever is going to be out between Sunday night, Monday morning, or if it just comes out anytime. But whenever the episode comes out, whether it's between Sunday and Monday, or if it's several days later, you'll see me whenever. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!